to uh, the discussion of today. I will uh, start with you, Zavi. As we talk about gender, talk, talking about inclusion, there are so many uh, concepts that hang with uh, inclusion, uh, both negative and positive discrimination, uh, equality, inequality. But uh, I want to spot out uh, a, a, a concept called equity. Equity in line with gender inclusion. Could you please shed light on uh, what equity means and how do you merge it with uh, gender inclusion? Yeah, this year actually UN Women um, slogan for 8th March or the whole month we are celebrating Women's Day is invest in women. In my in my thinking, invest in women is not only, of course it, here it is the bigger part is finance but also time, understanding, and listen. Just listen to women, listen to girls. We don't listen, we only give them ideas and tell them, come on, do better. Or just say, this is not your place. So, so many challenges as a woman, as a girl, we go through. So this year, Invest in Women is very close to my heart because without financial, or without other resources like knowledge and and a place where you can speak, it's not possible for a woman to be equal. Since we here, we are focusing on women issues, so I will be addressing women. I will not be saying um, minority group or community, which we have a lot. Yeah. But today we will only I will only speak about women as a as a minority group in this whole world. So Moses, when you ask me of inclusion, it's a very simple at the same time so complex that sometimes even though we have resources and we have thoughts and we have willpower to do it, but we can't because it is very very complex. The reason is it's a 40,000 years of civilization where we develop this system and society that we are going through. And now with the technology and all kind of development, we realize that women is lagging behind and we were never given a chance. It, was, it is different world. The civilization is developing towards different path. As long as industry and uh, and technology came. And then in 1947, the first thing came in uh, big uh, scholars that, and then they come together and wrote a very simple, very powerful line, which is, which, which we understand as Universal Declaration of Human Rights, Article 1. If we read that, I'm just reading the halves of the sentence is, it says that all human are born free and equal in dignity and rights. All human, all genders, all religions, everyone, every human is born free and right. in dignity and rights. It's a very clear, this is the mantra, but it was not enough. Why? Because this is talking about equality. Later mm. we learn equality was not enough. Equity, we need to work on equity. So this year, when we talk about Women Day, Women's Day, Invest in Women, we realize that 80%, a woman is earning 80%, 80 cent in $1 comparison to men. A man who is my age, my qualification, my experience, and my skill is making $1 and I'm making 80. The UN, UN gave the analytical report on that on Women's Day. And Norway, I don't know about Denmark and Netherlands or Uganda. I also don't know about my home country, but Norway has 88.3, not enough at all. A country like Norway who has resources, willpower, understanding, and they really want equal. 
women are qualified, full of resources, can study, do whatever they want, they're free. But still we are making here in Norway 88.3%. So here comes equity. Equality is not enough, it was never enough because we all are coming from different skills, but different backgrounds. And different weaknesses. Convention in very, very all given the the same food have different tolerance. So equity comes with a concept that we give justified support. You cannot ask a person without leg to run with a average person because we say, okay, we are giving you a chance, it's equality. That's not possible. So we realize equity, to fill up that gap, we need equity. As I said, it is the quality of being fair, impartial, and everyone is given the resource they need. Whereas equality is the state of quality of being equal, like law, constitutions, referendums, legislations. So we are equal. Every Everyone should go to school, everyone should have a salary, support, la la la. That's not enough. Equity involves treating each individual according to her or his needs. The ability to success increase for those at the disadvantages. For example, if we say men in the community, five different have to come to my party. Some communities might have bus services, some communities. We have to provide some community. We have to ask, please walk. But some community, we have to send a bus to bring them. So that is equity, giving opportunity to be equal. Equality involves treating every individual in the same manner. But that's kind of in the process is unfair. Because as we, as we all know, we all are not the same. I might have intellectual strength, you might have physical strength, and so on. The, out, the equity considers individuals' need of people. The outcomes are more equal for everyone. No one lags behind. When we, when we practice equity, it is a tool where we let everyone achieve the same goal with different help, different types of help. Equality, in other hand, aims to address, sorry, equity aims to address historical and systematic disadvantages and achieve equality opportunity. Because the background is completely different from every country and every gender and every minor group. For example, I can say something about recently on 8th of uh, March, uh, government, a prime minister announced a committee, a women committee in Norway. Why do we need a women committee in Norway? So this committee is set up to gain more knowledge and pr propose measures to improve women's occupational health. 